gentleman. A gentleman, obviously. <laughs> One of the gentlemen. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I figured. I. You know, they say when you audition, you should dress toward the character. Yeah. That's always the key. So. Right. Yeah. Well, there you go. I'm certainly not dressed for. Well, maybe I am. <laughs> <laughs> London Oog Festival, not quite. <laughs> I, 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 Peter, I don't see all your hats. The other day you had all hats. You in another room there? Oh yeah, uh, I just changed it around because the other way I couldn't, uh, I couldn't read as well, and I couldn't get so I just changed everything around. The hats are up on the wall over there. I mean, oh, okay. There, maybe. Oh see. yes, there they are. All your, all your roles. That's handy. Yeah, yeah, I keep costumes. <laughs> In case of emergency, you've got a hat. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and I'll have some more as we do the play. So, um... hi, Mike. Hi, Peter. Hi, Richard. Hello, hi, Mike. Good to see you guys. Yeah. Nice jacket and shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Good yeah, night. Guys, it's the main one, you know, that's it. Yeah. We just, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yes. What's so. he got up there? Like a hall. Man, where have you gone now? Nice. Oh, I just had to put that in there. That's one of those pictures. It's uh, uh, the... That looks like Hogwarts or something. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's the reading library, the reading... The library in uh, the Folgers. Oh, the nice. that's very appropriate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had okay. that for some reason. I'm gonna call Jim. Okay. Bug, because it took so much to set up, so now I'm gonna bug him. So he yeah, trip. do it. <laughs> okay. Don't trip over anything. Hey, Michael, you doing any work? Uh, I have been working uh, as an extra. I wor worked on Magnum a couple times, and I also worked on Doogie Kame Aloha MD a couple days. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, they, I don't know, oh. Disney's pretty mean, though. Oh, golly. Mm. That would have been interesting if I'd gotten that, because Kame Aloha is my, is my Hawaiian name. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, it is. Holy! Uh -huh. I was wondering because it's kind of a rare name. You don't hear yeah. um, you hear Kalo a lot, but they didn't want to yeah. get it mixed up with the guy who's going to prison, the police chief. Oh, yeah, so they changed right. it to Kame Aloha no. again. Right. Yeah. Wow. yeah, I inherited it from my grandmother. She inherited wow. Kame Aloha. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's good because I was wondering, is that just a made up name? Because I don't think I'd ever nope. heard of any real person named that. Okay. But yeah, oh, that's nope. interesting. Yeah. Well, maybe you'll end up getting some kind of part on there. Do you, have you read for them yet? Not yet, no. Okay. Don't well. know why. I've got to do some a knock on their door a little bit stronger. Maybe I don't know. But uh, who's doing? The, who, who's doing the casting? Um, Rachel. Oh, Rachel. Ra okay. Rachel's doing the casting for the principals, um, and then Sandy Alessi or, or Alessi Hardigan casting is doing the extras. Okay. Casting. Yeah. So, so uh, Peter, are you on Actors Access? Yes. Okay. I so don't, though that's I don't I don't I I should check it more often, but I haven't checked. Well, it usually, and you have an agent too, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Kathy. Okay. So, Kathy. Kathy so, um, I I read for one part um, for it like a month ago, and it went. I think uh, Rachel requested me specifically. Um, it's supposed to be like this old rock and roller guy um, mm -hmm. uh, who was dying and needed a heart transplant or something. You probably look too healthy for the role. Um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. But maybe I look too sick because I didn't get it. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway... Um, but it, it came through Actors Access and, and this other thing called EcoCast. Okay. Um, and, but it, it came, I think what happened is uh, uh, Rachel called up Kathy Muller and, and specifically wanted me to read for it. 
I don't think it was just you know send send us your best people. Maybe it yeah. was because um, they 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 gave me the link to Actors Access. I had to go on there, and then there was this message from Kathy Muller. Oh, you have this audition. You know, go to this link, and you'll get the you'll get the sides. And then so I went to that link and downloaded the sides, and the sides were watermarked with my name on it. So that if it escaped into the wild onto social media, they knew exactly who to blame and sue for every penny that they owned or something. So that mm -hmm. was kind of weird, but anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, so so yeah, you, you um, EcoCast is sort of this extra little thing that's attached to uh, Actors Access, okay. and you. You don't have to pay for either one. I mean, there's there's a free, a free deal where you don't have to pay for either Actors Access or EcoCast, but okay. they try and get you to pay for the extra one, and you can oh. upload more stuff and blah blah blah. Oh. Oh, okay. So some people do, you know, pay the extra fifty or hundred bucks, but um, but I I'm so cheap. I'm trying not to. Uh, but I was able to, so you have to film yourself. They're not having in-person auditions anymore. So you have to oh, film yeah. yourself. I know, just like we're doing now, it's very similar. And, um, yeah. but you have to get somebody to read the other part with you. Yeah. Uh, which um, can be tricky, although I guess you can do it over FaceTime or something, but that, that gets pretty complicated. I know, yeah. I, I haven't figured that out, but... Um, but the good news is that you can do take after take after take and take the best one and send it to them. Yeah. Um, so, and then you, once you get the one that you want to send them, you upload that to EcoCast, takes a few minutes. And, uh, if, you know, I did it. And if, if, you know, I'm, if I can do it, anybody can probably do it. Right. So it's not, not super hard. And, um, yeah, and then they have it, and and then you wait, and they don't call you. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it goes now. That's yeah. the new, <laughs> the new way of getting disappointed. Oh, right. oh God, yeah. <laughs> it's a new world. It's a new way. Yeah. But the fact that your name is actually Kami Aloha is. Now that seems like that would be a good selling point. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe you could talk to the writer or something. Her, her name is okay, Courtney yeah. Kang. Um, okay. I think she's from here. Um, so, okay. yeah. Okay. So now you do that. I don't maybe know. She's on Facebook. Kathy first, maybe. I don't know. But, uh, Kathy Muller? Yeah, maybe. Uh, um, yeah, Joy. you could try. Joy. Yeah. Joy, yeah. Joy's pretty cool. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, don't get me started. Hi, Leilani. Hi, Leilani. Hi, good to see you. Hi. Hey, aloha. Hi, hey. good to see you, Richard. Good to see you, Leilani. See, see Trooper Swade, Richard. There he is. Far Who is there Faith? He is. is that Linda? Who is Faith? That's Linda the... is driving here driving. with her boyfriend so that they'll still together on Valentine's Day, but I think she'll only read Lucetta because uh, they have to get back home. And it takes oh, a good really? Hour. Because Lucetta was going to be Susie. Oh, good. I didn't okay. realize you had uh, another person, but uh, okay. no, it's host. That's what it is. It's host, host uh, that is in... Um, Milan, that you, mm -hmm. uh, you had asked her to play. Okay, we're missing speed. David ain't showing, okay? That's right. Thank you. He's got Valentine's date. Linda is host. Um, uh, Jesus. Um, does everybody know their parts? God. Yes. Oh, no, my two parts, and that's it. There's Una. Uh, there's been a couple of changes, that's why. Hi, Una. The script again. 
Okay, everybody, brace, brace yourself. It's gonna, gonna be going. Uh, uh, Why don't uh, you do a roll call? Uh, uh, <laughs> try this. Wow, check this out. Wham! Can you see that? Found it. What? What? Yeah. Oh, that is nice. Okay. Sweet. So, that's a roll call. The two gentlemen, which is everything. Mm -hmm. Good, you didn't have, uh, you didn't have, oh, I uh, didn't um, know also. Yeah, didn't one. have Linda, oh, Second Outlaw, that's what the other one was. But that's both in the latter part of the play, and she can't stick around for well, that long. Linda, Linda plays speed? What's your speed on this thing? Uh, speed is the very first uh, scene with, um, what's his face, Lance. But, uh, Joe again. Yeah, I think he's got a lot more to say than just that first scene. Because, uh, yeah. you know, I had offered uh, the cuts that Leilani took down. And uh, so I'm hoping, Leilani, that you will catch where those cuts are. Mm hmm. I see Richard with his hand waving. Yeah, you oh, Richard, I'm, yeah. just, I'm just rehearsing. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a funny way to do it. <laughs> okay, so I, I think everybody else is here. Uh, yep. And um, we should just go ahead and say, uh, say what we will. It's I can probably do the host. Because oh. I'm not, sh I'm not sure who that is. It's only 31 lines. Linda. Um, um, did you get my my number? I was sent text it to you. Post. Post is minor. I texted speak. it to you. That's what I'm saying. It's 31 mm -hmm. lines, and I forget where it is. But uh, yeah. Minor. Anyway, Linda's not available. All right. Tonight. Great. Fine. That's a my heavy date for the boyfriend. Minor. Wow, so she's, we're waiting for her to show up. Is she here? No, she's supposed to be coming to um, my house. Susie, oh. is, is Susie here? Yes. Oh, oh, I'm, so, there you are. Hi. I got you because it said Faith, so I'm like, who is Faith? You can okay. call me Faith today. All right. Uh, 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 I'm insane. I'm insane. Don't pay any attention. <laughs> uh, Susie Lucetta was the one, or has that changed? Oh, no, that should be changed. good. Uh, she has two scenes with um, uh, Julia. Yeah. Can Susie do speed, maybe? I wouldn't push it. <laughs> Anybody do what? Okay. On audio, maybe? Like five yeah, Heard when is Linda arriving, Jim? Any second. Okay. I have no so clue. She called me about two o'clock and said, We're going to bring you down about four o'clock. And I said, Okay, I'm here. She couldn't do this from her home? She's not at home. She's driving here. Okay. okay. No. I cannot you can't do it. that woman to you stop can't do it from the car? bringing me stuff. I yeah. cannot stop her. She does it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I have been spoiled spoiled by Mama, Mama Linda. Hi, Ona. Hey, Le uh, Leilani, what do you think? Yes. Um, we could start, but I'm going to say if if she doesn't have a part, she could take my part in the beginning, and then I take it in the second half if she comes. All right. We'll just play play it by ear. Let's not Leilani. switch. It's more okay. fun to it's more fun to see your uh, characterization grow and your uh, you yourself feel that change, you know. So mm -hmm. when you change it like that, it really, you know, you're starting all over from the beginning. Exactly. It doesn't make sense. Okay. All right. I don't see his picture. <laughs> I'll just begin. All right. Yeah. What do you say? Everybody. <laughs> One scene, one Verona. Act one, scene one, Verona.
an open place. Cease to persuade my loving Proteus. Homekeeping youth have ever homely wits. Were it not affection chain thy tender days to the sweet glances of thy honored love. I rather would entreat thy company to see the wonders of the world abroad than living dully sluggerized at home, wear out thy youth with shapeless idleness. But since thou lovest, love still and thrive therein, even as I would when I to love begin. Will thou be gone? Sweet Valentine, adieu. Think on thy Proteus when thou happest seest some rare note, worthy object in thy travel. Wish me partaker in thy happiness. When thou dost meet good hap, and in thy danger, if ever danger do environ thee, command thy grievance to my holy prayers. For I will be thy beadsman, Valentine. And on a love book, pray for my success. Upon some book I love, I'll pray for thee. That on some shallow story of deep love, how young Leander crossed the Hellespont. That's a deep story of a deeper love, for he was more than over shoes in love. Tis true, for you are over boots in love, and yet you never swum the Hellespont. Over the boots? Nay, give me not the boots. No, I will not, for it boots thee not. What? <laughs> To be in love, where scorn is bought with groans, coy looks with heart sore sighs, one fading moment's mirth, with twenty watchful, weary, tedious nights. If haply won, perhaps a hapless gain. If lost, why then a grievous labor won. However, but a folly brought with wit, or else a wit by folly vanquished. So, by your circumstance, you call me a fool. So, by your circumstance, I fear you'll prove. Tis love you cavell at. I am not love. Love is your master, for he masters you. And he thinks that it is so yoked by a fool, methinks should not be chronicled for wise. Yet writers say, as in the sweetest bud, the eating canker dwells, so eating love inhabits in the finest wits of all. And writers say, as the most forward bud is eaten by the canker ere it blow, ever so by love the young and tender wit is turned to folly, lasting in the bud, losing his verdure, even in the prime of all the fair effects of future hopes. But wherefore waste thy time to counsel thee? Thou art a votary to fond desire. Once more, adieu. My father at the road expects my coming there to see me shipping. And thither will I bring thee, Valentine. Sweet Proteus, no. Now let us take our leave. To Milan, let me hear from thee by letter of thy success in love. And what news is else betideth here in absence of thy friend, and likewise will visit thee with mine. All happiness be chance to thee in Milan. As much to you at home, and so farewell. After he after our he after hours hunts, I after love. He leaves his friends to dignify them more. I leave myself, my friends and all, for love. Thou Julia. Thou hast metamorphosized me, made me neglect my studies, lose my time, war with good counsel, set the world at naught, made wit amusing wreck, and sick, heart sick with thought. Sir Proteus, are you? I uh, save you by my master. But now he parted hence to embark for Milan. Uh, Twenty to one, then he's shipped already. I have played the sheep in losing him. Indeed, a sheep doth very often stray, and if the shepherd be a while away. You conclude that my master is a shepherd then, and I a sheep? I do. Oh, why then, my horns are his horns, whether I wake or sleep. A silly answer, and fitting well of a sheep. <laughs>
This proves me still a sheep. True, and thy master a shepherd. Nay, I cannot deny that by a circumstance. It shall go hard, but I'll prove it by another. The shepherd asks the sheep, and not the sheep the shepherd. Uh, but I seek my master, and my master seeks not me. Therefore I am no sheep. Mm, no sheep for fodder follows the shepherd, and the shepherd for food follows not the sheep. Thou for wages follows thy master. Thy master for wages follows not thee. Therefore, thou art a sheep. There's such another proof is that Mary me cry back. But dost thou hear? Gavest thou my letter to Julia? I, sir, I, a uh, lost a mutton, gave your letter to her, a uh, laced mutton, and all uh, she, a uh, laced mutton, gave me a lost mutton and nothing for my labor. It was too small a pasture for such store of muttons. Ah, uh, if the ground be overcharged, you will best stick to her. Nay, in that way, you are astray. To his best pound you. Oh, sir, uh, the less than a pound shall serve me for carrying your letter. You mistake. I meant the pound, a pinfold. Oh, oh, uh, a pound to the pin, folded over and over. Uh, and tis threefold too little for carrying a letter to the lover. But what said she? I. Nod, I. Why, that's naughty. Oh, you mistake, sir. I say she did not not. She did not. And you ask if she did not. If she, if she did not. And I say I. <laughs> and that set together is naughty. Ah, <laughs> well, now you have taken the pains to set it together and, and take it for your pains. No, no, you shall have it for bearing the letter. I well, I perceived I must be fain to bear with you. Why, sir, how do you bear with me? I marry, sir, the letter very orderly, having nothing but the word naughty for my pains. Uh, shrew me, but you have a quick wit. Ah, uh, let it cannot o'ertake your slow purse. Come, come, open the matter in brief. What said she? Ah, uh -huh. well, truly, sir, I think you'll hardly win her. <laughs> oh, sorry. I think you'll hardly win her, Proteus. You jumped a line. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's what it. Open your purse, and the money and the matter may be both at once delivered. Well, sir, here is for your pains. What oh, said she? Truly, sir, I think you'll hardly win her. Why couldst thou perceive so much from her? Sir, I could perceive nothing at all from her. No, not so much as a ducat for delivering your letter. I, and being so hard for me, that brought to your mind, I fear she'll prove as hard to you in telling your mind and give her no token but stones, for she's as hard as steel. What said she? Nothing? Ah, no, not so much as take this for your pains and testify your bounty. I thank you. You have uh, testified to me to, in require, in requital uh, that we're of. And henceforth, carry your letters yourself. And, no, sir, I'll commend you to my, and so, sir, I'll commend you to my master. Go, go, be gone, to save your ship from the wreck. <laughs> Perish, having thee abroad, being destined to a drier depth on shore. Ooh. I must go and send some better messenger. I fear my Julia would not deign my lines, receiving them from such a worthless post. <laughs> Scene two, the same guard of Julia's house. But say, Lucetta, now we are alone. 
wouldst thou then counsel me to fall in love? Ay, madame, so you stumble not unheedfully. Of all the fair resort of gentlemen that every day with parl encounter me, in thy opinion, which is worthiest love? Please, you repeat their names. I'll show my mind, according to my shallow, simple skills. What thinks thou of the fair Sir Iglemore? As of a night well spoken, neat and fine, mm -hmm. but were I you, he never should be mine. What thinkst thou of the rich Mercatio? Well, of his wealth, but of himself so-so. What thinkst thou of the gentle Proteus? Lord, Lord to see what fully reigns in me. How now? What means this passion at his name? Pardon, dear madame, tis a passing shame that I, unworthy body as I am, should consume thus on lovely gentlemen. Why not on Proteus as of all the rest? Then thus, of many Lady, you've got to pick up your cues. Speak faster. This is a comedy. <laughs> You're doing a great job, but you've got to speak faster. Oh. Are you talking to Susie or to Faith? Whatever it says down here, Faith. Oh, okay, I, I, can I, re could you repeat what you said? I didn't hear it. All I need is for you, as soon as uh, Leilani has finished her speech, pick it up really fast. Everybody is uh, sorry. right. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go up. I'm new and I'm not able to. I'm sorry. That's why I'm suggesting. She's on two things. devices, Jim. She's I'm, on two I'm devices. Sorry. Just go ahead, quick. Okay. Why not on Proteus's of all the rest? Blank space, drive a truck through it. I think she might have left. Ah, uh, well, that's fine. Is she still here? Um, maybe Una can take over or something. Una, Una are you there? A very short scene. Una, so where are, are we now? Uh, we're in, uh, it's Julia and Lucetta. It's, uh, what is it? Act two, scene two. Act one, scene two. Act one, scene two, about maybe 20 lines into it. Julia? Why not on Proteus as of all the rest? Then thus of many good I think him best. Your reason? I have no other but a women's reason. I think him so because I think him so. <laughs> and wouldst thou have me cast my love on him? I, if you thought your love not cast away. Why, he of all the rest has never moved me. Yet he of all the rest I think best loves ye. His little speaking shows his love but small. Fire that's closest kept burns most of all. They do not love, but do not show their love. Oh, they love less than let men know their love. I would I knew his mind. Per, uh, pursue this pepper, madam. <laughs> to yeah. Julia. Say from whom? That the contents will show. Say, say, who gave it thee? Sir Valentine's page and sent, I think, from Proteus, he would have given it to you, but I being in the way, did in your name receive it, pardon the fault, I pray. Now by my modesty, a goodly broker, dare you presume to want to harbor wanton lines, to whisper and conspire against my youth? Now trust me, tis an office of great worth, and you an officer fit for the place, there, take the paper. 
see it be returned or else return no more into my sight. To plead for love deserve us more fee than hate. Will you be gone? A debt you may ruminate. And yet I would I had overlooked the letter. It were a shame to call her back again and pray her to a fault for which I chid her. What fool is she that knows I am a maid and would not force a letter to my view? Since maids in modesty say no to that which they would have the proferer construe, I. Fie, fie, how wayward is this foolish love that like a testy babe will scratch the nurse and presently all humbled, kiss the rod. How churlishly I chid Lucetta hence, when willingly I would have had her here. How angrily I taught my brow to frown, when inward joy enforced my heart to smile. My penance is to call Lucetta back, and ask remission for folly past. What ho, Lucetta! What would your ladyship? Is it near dinner time? I would have were that you might kill your stomach on your meat and not upon your maid. What is it that you took up so gingerly? Nothing. Why didst thou stoop then? To take a paper upon that I let fall. And is that paper nothing? Nothing concerning me. Then let it lie for those that it concerns. Madam, it will not lie where it concerns unless it have a false interpreter. Some love of yours hath writ to you in rhyme. That I might sing it. Madam, not to tune, give give me a note your ladyship can set. As little by such toys as might be possible. Best sing it to the tune of light or love. It's too heavy for so light a tune. Heavy? Belike it has some burden then. I and melodious for it, would you sing it? And why not you? I cannot reach so high. Let's see your song, how now, minion? Keep tuned there still so you will sing it out. And yet, methinks I do not like this tune. You do not? <laughs> no, madam, it's too sharp. You, minion, are too saucy. Nay, now you are too flat. And mar the concord with too harsh a descent. There wanteth but a mean to fill your song. The mean is drowned with your unruly bass. Indeed, I bid the base for Proteus. This babble shall not henceforth trouble me. Here is the coil to your protestation. Ooh. Go get you gone and let the papers lie. You would be fingering them to anger me. She makes it strange, but she would be best pleased to be so angered with another letter. Nay, would I were so angry with the same. Oh, hateful hands, to tear such loving words, injurious wasps to feed on such sweet honey and kill the bees that yield it with your stings. I'll kiss each paper for amends. Look, here is writ, kind Julia, unkind Julia, as in revenge of thy ingratitude, I'll throw thy name against the bruising stones, trampling contemptuously on, the, on thy disdain. And here is writ, love wounded Proteus, poor wounded name, my bosom as a bed shall lodge thee, till thy wound be thoroughly healed, and thus I search it with a sovereign kiss. But twice or thrice was Proteus written down? Be calm, good wind, blow not a word away, till I have found each letter in the letter, except mine own name, that some whirlwind bear unto a ragged, fearful hanging rock shall throw it hence into the raging sea. Lo, here is one line in his name twice writ. Poor forlorn Proteus, passionate Proteus, to the sweet Julia. That I'll tear away, and yet I will not. Sit so prettily. He couples it to his complaining names. Thus will I fold them one unto the other. Now kiss, embrace, contend, do what you will. Madam, dinner is ready and your father stays. 
Well, let us go. What shall these papers like, like tell tell here? If you respect them, best to take them up. Nay, I was taken up for laying them down, yet there they shall not lie for catching cold. I see you have a month's mind to them. Eh, hey, uh, madam, you may say what sight you see. I see things too, although you judge I wink. Come, come. Will it please you? Go. The same, scene three, Antonio's house. Who's Antonio? Pantino. Pantino. I'm Pantino. Ah, Pantino. Ha, ha, ha. Don't What sad talk it was the, was that, uh, wherewith my brother held you in the cloister? It was of his nephew Proteus, your son. Ah, well, uh, why, what of him? He wondered that your lordship would suffer him to spend his youth at home, while other men of slender reputation put forth their sons to seek preferment out, some to the wars to try their fortune there, some to discover islands far away, some to the studious universities, or for any or for all of these exercises. He said that Proteus, your son, was meat and did request me to importune you to let him spend his time no more at home, which would be great impeachment to his age in having known no travel in his youth. Nor needst thou much importune me to that, and whereon this month I have been hammering, and I have considered well his loss of time, and that how he had cannot be a perfect man, and nor be tried or tutor in the world. Uh, experiences by industry achieved and perfected by the swift course of time. Then tell me, whither were, <laughs> whither were I best to send him? I think your lordship is not ignorant how his companion, youthful Valentine, attends the emperor in his royal court. I know it well. For good, I think your lordship sent him thither. There shall he practice tilts and tournaments, hear sweet discourse, converse with noblemen, and be in the eye of every exercise worthy his youth and nobleness of birth. I like thy counsel. <laughs> well hast thou advised, and that thou mayest perceive how well I like it, the execution of it shall make known, even with the speediest expedition. I will dispatch him to the emperor's court. Tomorrow, may it please you, Don Alfonso, with other gentlemen of good esteem, are journeying to salute the Emperor and to commend their service to his will. Well, good company, and with them shall Proteus go, and in good time, now will we break with him. Ah, Proteus! <laughs> Sweet Proteus. You're Sweet. muted. Sweet unmute. <laughs> uh -huh. There you go. Sweet uh -huh. line. Sweet lines. Sweet life. Here is her hand, the agent of her heart. And here is her oath for love, her honor's pawn. Oh, that our fathers would applaud our loves to seal our happiness with their consent. Oh, heavenly Julia. Ah, how now? What letter are you reading there? May it please your lordship, tis a word or two of commendation sent from Valentine. Ah. Deli delivered by a friend that came from him. <laughs> ah, lend me the letter and let me see what news. There is no news, my lord, but that he writes how happily he lives 
how well beloved and daily graced by the emperor, wishing me with him partner of his fortune. And how stand you affected to his wish? As one relying on your lordship's will and not depending on his friendly wish. <laughs> My will is something uh, sorted with his wish. Uh, must uh, muse not that I that, that I thus suddenly proceed. For what I will, I will. And there an end. Resolved that thou should spend time with Belinus in emperor court. And what maintenance he from his friends receive, a uh, like um, exhibition thou shalt have from me. Uh, the uh, tomorrow is be in readiness to go, and excuse it not, for I am preemptory. My lord, I cannot be so soon provided. Please you, deliberate a day or two. Look, what thou wantst shall be sent after you, and no more of stay. Tomorrow thou must go. Come on, Pantino, you shall employ it to hasten him on his expedition. Asaya Chund, the fire for fear of burning, and drenched me in the sea, for where I am drowned. I feared to show my father's Julia's letter, and lest he should take exception to my love, and with that, with the vantage of mine own excuse, hath he expected most against my love. Oh, how this spring of love resembleth the uncertain glory of an April day, which now shows all the beauty of the sun, and by and by a cloud takes it all away. Oh, Pandino, <clears throat> Sir Proteus, your father calls for you. He is in haste, therefore I pray you go. Why, this is it. The heart accords here too, and yet a thousand times it answers no. Act, Act two, <laughs> scene one, Milan, the Duke's Palace. Jim. I Speed. Oh, Speedy. Ah. <laughs> oh, I'm being Speedy Gonzalo tonight. Now, oh, where's my script? There it is. All right. Talk about being slow here. All righty. Act two, scene two, right? No, scene one. One, 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 one. one, one. We're skipping one, or we, we're on one, right? Okay. Uh, oh, sir, yeah. your glove. Not mine, my gloves are on. Oh, well, then this must be yours, for this is but one. Ha, huh. let me see. I give it to me, it's mine. Sweet Please. ornament that decks a thing divine. Ah, Sylvia, Sylvia. Sylvia? Madam Sylvia. How now, Sirrah? Uh, she is not within hearing, sir. Why, sir, who bade you call her? Uh, your worship, uh, sir, uh, else I mistook. <laughs> well, you'll still be too forward. Well, and yet I was uh, last chidden for being too slow. Go to, sir. Tell me, do you know Madam Sylvia? Madam Sylvia? Uh, well, uh, she that your worship loves. Why, how know you that I am in love? Very by these special marks. First, you have uh, learned, like Sir Proteus, the wreathe your arms, and to malcontent to relish a love song, and like a robin redbreast to walk alone, like one that had the pestilence to sigh, like a schoolboy that had lost oh. his disease to weep, uh, like a young wench that has buried her grandam, and to fast, like one that uh, takes diet, and to watch, 
like one that fears robbing to speak uh, puling like a beggar at Hallow Mass, and you are wont uh, when you when you laugh to crow like a cock, and you also walk to walk like one in the lions. And when you fasted, it was presently after dinner. And when you looked sadly, it was for want of money. And now you metaphor metamorphosed with a mistress. And that when I look on you, I can hardly thank you, my master. <laughs> are, are all these things perceived in me? They are all perceived without thee. Without me? They cannot. <laughs> Nay, that's certain. For without you, a uh, thing were so simple, and none else would had you. Uh, so without these follies, the that these follies were within you and shine through you like the water in a urinal. <laughs> and, and I to see you, but in a physician to comment on your malady. But tell me, dost thou know my lady Sylvia? She that uh, you gaze on as she sits at supper. Hast thou observed that? Even she, I mean. Why, sir, I know her not. Dost thou know her by my gazing on her, and yet knowest her not? Is she not hard favored, sir? Not so fair, boy, as well favored. Ah, so I know that well enough. What dost thou know? Uh, that she is not so fair as of you, well favored. I mean that her beauty is exquisite, but her favor infinite. Uh, that's because the one is painted and the other out of all count. How painted and how out of count? Uh, Mary, sir, so painted to make her fair that no man counts of her, um, her, her beauty. How esteemest thou me? I account of her beauty. You never saw her since she was deformed? How long has she been deformed? Ever since she loves her. I have loved her since I saw her, and still I see her beautiful. If you love her, you cannot see her. Why? Because love is blind. <laughs> and that you had uh, mine eyes on and your own eyes that the lights they were wont to have you chid as Sir Proteus for going on ungartered. What should I see then? Well, uh, your own present folly and her passing deformity for he, being in love, could not see to garter his hose, and you, being in love, cannot see to put on your hose. It'd be like, boy, then you are in love. For last morning, you could not see to wipe my shoes. True, sir. I was in love with my bed. <laughs> I thank you. You swinge to me out for my love, and which makes me the bolder to chide you for yours. In conclusion, I stand affected to her. I would you were set, and so your affection would cease. Last night she enjoined me to write some lines to one she loves. And have you? I have. And are they, and they are, and they, uh, are they not uh, lamely writ? No, boy, as well as I can do them. Peace, here she comes. <sighs> oh, oh, an excellent, uh, <laughs> excellent emotion, excellent puppet. Oh, now will he interpret to her. 
Madam and mistress, a thousand good morrows. Oh, give thee good even, and there is a million of manners. Sir Valentine and servant, to you two thousand. If he should give her an interest, he gives it to him. As you enjoin me, I have writ your letter unto the secret nameless friend of yours, which I was much unwilling to proceed in, but for my duty to your ladyship. I thank you, gentle servant. Tis very clerky done. Now, trust me, madam, it came hardly off. For being ignorant to whom it goes, I writ at random very doubtfully. Perchance you think too much of so much pains. No, no, madam, so it stood you. I will write, please your, you command a thousand times as much, and, and yet. A pretty period. Well, I guess the sequel, and yet I will not name it, and yet I care not, and yet take this again, and yet I thank you, meaning henceforth to trouble you no more. And you will, <coughs> and yet another yet. <laughs> What, 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 what means your ladyship? Do you not like it? Yes, yes, the lines are very quaintly writ, but since unwillingly take them again, nay, take them. Madam, they are for you. Aye, I, I, you writ them, sir, at my request, but I will none of them, they are for you. I would have had them writ more movingly. Please you, I write your ladyship another. And then it's read for my sake, read it over. And if it please you, so if not, why so? If it please me, madam, what then? Why, if it please you, take it for your labor and so good morrow servant. <clears throat> Just unseen, inscrutable, invisible, as a nose on a man's face, or a weathercock on a steeple. <laughs> My master goes to her, and she hath taught her suitor, he being her pupil, to become her tutor, and an excellent device. Was there ever heard a better that my master being scribe to himself should write the letter? How now, sir? What are you reasoning with yourself? Uh, nay, I, I was just rhyming. Uh, Tis you that have the reason. To do what? To be a spokesman to Madame Sylvia. To whom? To yourself. Why she woos you by a figure. What figure? Ha <laughs> uh, Be a letter, I should say. Why, she hath not writ to me. Well, um, <clears throat> what, what need she when she hath made you to write yourself? And why do you not perceive the jest? No, believe me. Uh, no, believe me, you indeed, sir. Uh, <laughs> but did you, but did you perceive her earnest? She gave me none except an angry word. I, why, I, she hath given you a letter. That's the letter I writ to her friend. And that letter she hath delivered, and there an end. I would it were no worse. <laughs> I warrant you, tis as well, uh, for often have you writ to her, and she in modesty, and else she, <laughs> for want of the idle time, would not again reply, for fearing else some meaning messenger that might have been her mind discover, and herself hath thought her, her love herself to write unto her love. And uh, this I speak in print, for in print I found it. Why muse you, sir? Tis dinner time. I have dined. Ah, but I 
Um, but <laughs> I, but har hearken, sir, uh, tis the shame chameleon I love that feed on the air. I am not, I am one that, I, <laughs> I am one that uh, nourished by the, vit the vittles and would have uh, fain have meat. And so be not by your mistress, be moved, be moved. Ta-da. See two. Do it. Verona Julia's house.